apparently Blue Eyes is a meta deck again. I didn't know that we went back to 2016. <laughs> oh my God. I must have stepped into the Twilight Zone after I had three Long Island iced teas today. <laughs> let's, uh, let's dive into some craziness, shall we? But I'm actually, believe it or not, I'm not going to roast this individual as much as you may think. Because this person actually makes some good points, but they also make some points that I really don't entirely agree with. So sit back, relax, get your own Long Island iced tea or a snack or a drink, whatever it is that you need. Get your Ultra Ball nice and hard. You know how that feels. And let's dive on into some master shits and baby back bullshit, shall we? Destroy the ever living crap out of that subscribe button so we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, we're currently sitting at 821. We are skyrocketing to the moon with these subscribers. I really do appreciate all of the support, ladies and gentlemen. So let's talk about this video that my subscriber that I've shouted out before actually, and I'm, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. It's Jawan Buchanan or Buck Wannan. I, I'm sorry, bro, if I pronounced that wrong. I really do apologize. But he is, I'm guessing, a subscriber from all the times I've shit on Master Shits. He's been in my comment section several times. You may have seen him. You may have not. He sent me a video and shout out to this YouTuber, you YouTuber specifically, that has uh, 465 subscribers at the time he's making this video. His name is Kushi or Kushi or Cushion. I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that. So if I pronounced it wrong, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave a link in the description down to his channel. He actually has some really good content. Um, but what's funny is that my subscriber sent me a, one of his videos to like basically dunk on Master Shits. Um, but he does make some good points, but he also makes some points that really just don't really make any sense in the modern era of Yu-Gi-Oh. So at first I was like, when I watched the video, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna dunk on this guy. He don't know what he's talking about. But no, I want this to be more constructive, especially too, because in my last video, some people were saying, Avery, you were making fun of the guy that commented on your video. And I, I want to make clear that when I make these types of videos, yes, I'm roasting. Yes, I'm having fun with it. But I'm. it's never my intention to like, have my subscribers attack somebody, whether it's a Yugi tuber, whether it's a TCG player writer, whether it's any sort of public figure, Konami, whatever. That's not the case. It's meant to just be a way to have some fun. You know, it's it's different content than what you're going to normally find on YouTube. You know, everybody is so like watching their P's and Q's in the Yugi tubing community, I feel, because they want that ad revenue because all of them have over a thousand subscribers, whereas me, I don't really care. I don't really have any skin in the game. So when I do videos like this, it's meant to just have some fun. It's different content, especially when we're in a stale ass fucking format like we are right now. It's just a fun way to be able to, you know, talk about master shits and dunk on the game, especially whenever you see someone that really, in my humble opinion, clearly is not in the competitive mindset of Yu-Gi-Oh and wants to have fun in a casual mode when yet Konami dropped the fucking football on this. Like they just, they punted it this way and it's supposed to go this way. So with all that out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, this guy's videos in response to the casual mode because there are some points here that he makes that uh, I'm sorry, but I just feel are really incorrect. So let's go ahead and start with the first clip from his first video, and then we'll dive into the second clip where he responds to the first video, if that makes sense. So I put together a D hero deck that's extremely basic using like pretty much only normal rare cards, and I'm just trying to bring out the boss monster. One boss monster in the extra deck. Of course, I can run other hero cards if I had them, but I don't. And I'm just like, this is going to be casual. It's going to be fun. So I'm just going to make a super simple deck that can bring out a very powerful monster. But it's not consistently bringing them out. So I think it'd be fun back and forth gameplay. So as you saw in that first clip, he's talking about the type of deck that he wants to play in the casual mode. Which is basically just a straight up Destiny Hero deck. And he's playing this deck because he feels that that's what constitutes a casual deck in this casual mode. The problem that you're going to see in the second clip when he responds to people commenting on that first initial video is that 
Konami doesn't have any sort of limitations in place in this casual mode. And I've ran into this on Dueling Book, EVO Pro, like I've ran into it on all of the unofficial simulators. You're going to run into people that want to test a competitive deck or even test a casual deck running competitive cards such as Nibiru, Effect Veiler, Imperm, Ciphering, Gear Gamma, because they want the deck to be as competitive as possible while also it being a casual strategy. You know, Blue Eyes was a competitive deck back in 2016. It's not really all that competitive anymore. Same with Dark Magician. It was competitive for a time it's been a rogue pick here and there but it's really not all that competitive right now so it's kind of hard to say that you're going to say to someone well you're playing a competitive deck because you're playing these meta cards when yet someone may see the deck that they're playing as casual they're just playing meta cards in it to give it the best chance of being competitive as possible without like basically playing the brave engine and, and the punk engine and all these other cards so let's go ahead and dive into the second clip and then hopefully that'll kind of give more context a couple players were trying to justify players taking powerful meta relevant decks into casual duels. The reason I say this is because straight out the gate, casual duels says that you do not gain anything from winning. You do not get any XP, gems, or anything like that, nor rank. And I truly believe that if a player is running three copies of Ash Blossom, three copies of Max C, three copies of Nobleman Crossout, three copies of a bunch of negates to stop the opponent and adds in cards like blue eyes who are completely fine to be played on their own but only the best blue eyes cards and doesn't even try to run any of the other blue eyes cards so as you saw in that second clip he's talking about running all those meta cards and blue eyes and things like that but here is my response to that cushy and again i'm i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing your name wrong i'm just going to call you cushy for this video because i know everyone's called my username wrong it's avriel r32 not avriel or avriel or whatever the fuck people say um so i apologize if i'm saying it wrong um here's the issue though with that argument the cards that you're talking about like white stone of ancients and things like that those blue eyes cards you have to play in some capacity in 2022 to make blue eyes function in any sort of capacity. You know, it's like saying you want to play Gladiator Beast casually, but yet you're not allowed to play, let's say, Gladiator Beast Laquari or Test Tiger, when yet a card like Test Tiger, especially more than Laquari, helps make the deck make its plays. You know, like, let's say for example, uh, Dino Rabbit back in 2012 when Rescue Rabbit was like 60 plus dollars. If you want Dino Rabbit to be a casual deck, does that mean you have to cut Rescue Rabbit out of the deck because Rescue Rabbit is just such a good card and such a meta relevant card in that day and age of the game that it's not considered casual if you're playing Rescue Rabbit? when yet Rescue Rabbit can help any deck that plays Vanillas, it just seems kind of one-sided. And it brings up, it well rather, it reminds me of a comment that I saw on one of my older Mastership videos where someone was commenting basically saying that, you know, something about casual modes and casual decks, right? And the argument that I made was that uh, we, oh, it was talking about deck diversity, excuse me. And the argument that I made was, so we should all play our Beaver Warrior decks, but then we all play Max C because it's fucking broken. And I said the point that you have to pick a side. You can't say we all had to play Max C because the shit's broken, but then play it play your shitty casual deck at like table 500 at like a regional or YCS. You have to be able to pick a side. It can't be both. And the issue that I feel that this individual is running into is the fact that in a casual mode, when Konami isn't placing any sort of limits on that mode, you know, they're not saying Tri Brigade's not allowed, Burning Abyss is not allowed, Flunderies is not allowed, then any deck, in theory, is going to be a casual deck. And that really sucks for the Master Shits community, which if you're new to the channel, we call Master Duel Master Shits because we're going to call it Master Shits until it's a good game, which it never fucking will be. <laughs> so the thing is, is that you can make an argument for any deck being casual, right? But Blue Eyes is seen as a casual deck in the competitive community, in the IRL game. You're not going to see Blue Eyes topping in 2022 unless it's just something out of left field where it's playing like Triple Skill Drain and all these other Floodgate cards. You're just not going to see Blue Eyes regularly topping compared to something like Sprite, Tier Elements, Flunder, you know, you name it. Uh, a, a punk deck, an adventure deck, you know, things like that.
So the decks that you're getting pissed off at, especially in his initial video where he was getting pissed off that he was getting beat by blue eyes when he's playing, I'm sorry, but I'm just being honest, a dog shit Destiny hero deck, or he's getting pissed off that Trap Tricks are making links and exceeds and stuff when it's like, bro, when Trap Tricks first came out and you had the hat deck in 2014, they were making exceeds. They weren't just setting five and summoning a Trap Trick. They've always made exceeds in some form or fashion. So I don't know why that's pissing you off. But the point is, is that these decks that are pissing you off, they are seen as casual amongst the wider audience of the community. You know, you may think that Blue Eyes is a competitive deck, but yet when you look at the TCG meta, hell, go look at my tier list video that apparently got a lot of hate. I don't know why people were attacking that video so bad. I guess it's just because I was blunt in the video. You know, you look at what the, the top decks are right now, you know, Flunder, Branded, Sprite, Tier Elements. That's what's seen as the best deck. If you were to ask me what the meta was right now in Master Shits, I would say, well, Flunder is tier zero. Blue Eyes is booty, booty, butt cheeks. We always have the booty, booty, butt cheek category in our tier list for a reason because those decks are liquid ass. You know, no one is playing like just straight up Burning Abyss. No one's playing Gladiator Beast. No one's playing just these off the wall decks because they're dog shit. And... I feel bad for players that aren't as involved in the game as a whole and think that decks like Blue Eyes that play Psyframe Gear Gamma, that play Ash Blossom, that play Max C in Master Shits, because obviously Max C's banned in the real game, have a problem with these decks because really these decks aren't competitive at all. They're dog shit. You know, you go into a casual mode, I'm going to expect to play against things like Trap Tricks, Gladiator Beasts, Destiny Heroes, Blue Eyes, you know, the list goes on, Dark Magician even to a degree. You know, it, it, it reminds me actually of an old story that I think I've told on the channel before, I'm not sure, but Cushy, I think that, I really hope that you take this particular story to heart if you happen to see this video. And that's that I remember back in, I think it was 2008 and 2009, where Light Swarns were a really big deck at the time. They were practically tier zero. And one of my locals, my local OTS stores in my area, would have a weekend called quote unquote fun deck day, where you would bring a quote unquote fun deck. And it wasn't as like a super competitive tournament. You know, you weren't seeing Teledad everywhere, Light Swarm, Glider Beast, you name it. It was just more fun, casual day. Well, the thing is, is that if there was one particular player who I don't even know if he's even in the community anymore, would show up, he would bring Light Sworn and everybody would have to bust out their best decks so that they didn't get utterly destroyed. And the issue is, is that things like that just don't work when any player can make the argument of, oh, well, this is my fun deck. You know, someone playing Branded, that's one of the best decks in the room right now, could say to make the argument, oh, this is my fun deck. Or in the case of Light Swords, oh, this is my fun deck. You know, any deck can be identified as casual or fun or not competitive. Like, that's just kind of how it is, man. Like, you can't say, oh, this is competitive because you're playing Ash Blossom. This is competitive because you're playing Effect Failure. This is competitive because you're playing Cypher and Gear Gamma. It's just how someone wants to play their quote-unquote casual deck, no matter what the fuck it is. So... The only advice I can really recommend to players like you, Cushy, is that you kind of just have to be prepared for it. Like, I'm sorry that that's the way it is, but Master Shits is such a bad game that if you want to play against casual decks, you have to take the, the Pepsi challenge, so to speak, and download EDO Pro or go on Dueling Book in your web browser and, you know, make a deck, go into Advanced Unrated where the rating won't be affected at all for your account. And you could say, you know, casual only, no hand traps. You know, like I can't tell you how many times I've seen on fucking EDO Pro where someone's like, no links, no pendulums, no fusions, no dildos. Like, I mean, it, everything under the sun. Like you're basically playing 2002 format. It's like, Jesus Christ. So I get your frustration, Cushy. I do. But I don't really think that anything is going to necessarily change because it's a casual mode. You know, you're going to be playing against anything because there's no limitations other than the master shit's ban list. So it is what it is. You know, a lot of some people want me to really dunk on this video and and like roast the guy. But he makes some good points, you know, to him, hand traps and things like that are competitive. Some players don't think hand traps in a blue eyes deck or hell, even blue eyes in fucking general is competitive. But I get where he's coming from. And I also get where the competitive community, which I'm part of because I'm a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh player, 
goes to events and things, understands as well. That's why a lot of his comments were like, bro, Blue Eyes isn't a competitive deck. Trap Tricks isn't a competitive deck. Because to the competitive crowd, that scene is casual. So I see both sides of it here. At the end of the day, Master Shits is a dog water game. You shouldn't be playing it. Um, you really need to be playing EDO Pro, YGO Omega, Dueling Nexus, Dueling Book. The list goes on. Because those unofficial simulators are so much better than an official game that's just dog shit that anyone can play anything in casual. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I, I kind of wanted to take this video in a bit of a different approach. Um, Cause like I said, when I first saw the video, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna roast this guy. But then I listened to his points. I'm like, yeah, he makes some good points, but the decks are still dog shit. Like I see both sides of the coin here. So Cushy, feel free to make a response video to this man. I thought your content was really good. Be sure to go and subscribe to Cushy. I will have a link down below in the description. Be sure to go check him out. Let him know that Avery LR32 sent you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.